All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Quantum Struts Continued mod, which was originally made by forum user Bojan, it was then continued by Toticus, and now of course the wonderful Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game are some magical quantum struts which enable you to give more support to your ship even when you're outside of the vehicle assembly buildings and the space plane hangar, which is pretty useful. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at how all this works. Now we're actually going to load up a just terrifying monstrosity of a ship that I made earlier to show off the power of these things, and we'll just zoom in a bit here and then head to the structural category, where of course you will find these two new quantum struts, of which we have the just regular quantum strut right here, as well as, there we go, if I can actually put it on there, as well as a strut gun. Now both of them have the exact same model as you can see in here, but basically what they'll do is the beam that comes off of them is slightly different. That's really the only difference between the two, but hey, you know what, it's nice to have little options. Now uh, what happens with these is once you do attach them to the ship, you'll have uh, this beam going out here, and any other part of the ship which actually hits that beam will then be considered having a quantum strut between them. And you'll notice the two that I put down have red beams, and that's because they currently are not attached to anything. Whereas the ones that I have here are blue beams because they are hitting these other structural pieces up here. But for instance, if I do remove that, you'll notice all of those beams did go red because, well, there's now no, nothing there for them to actually attach to, but if we pop them back on, there we go, we can see that they turn back to blue. And you can even tell as I'm moving around this piece here that it is going blue when we hover over it, so if the piece was here, it would be fine, and the other one being red because it is unattached. So that is very handy to have, as these do only have a certain range. You'll notice the beam does eventually end, and that is the maximum range of the beam. Anything you try and place above it will not actually be considered attached. For instance, well, if that beam continued on, it would eventually hit this up here, but sadly, it's out of its range. I'm actually going to reload this thing so we can actually see the power of these struts in practice, and this thing is just a monstrosity of a vessel that should not be able to stand up on its own. In fact, without the struts, it tips over on the launch pad within seconds, but if we launch this vessel with the quantum struts active, well, this thing's just a nice rigid tower and it will stay in place for quite some time. I haven't actually fully tested how long, in fact, but uh, as you can see, it's not tipping over. Now you can actually put these uh, quantum struts to action groups, and if I hit one, well, there we go, it turned all of them off, and you can see the ship is already starting to, well, move, and that's bad. In fact, it's already starting to tip over, but we can rescue it by turning the struts back on. Now it will still continue to bend, but now with the quantum struts reactivated, it's actually going to start to sway a little bit and not fully tip over. But if we turn these things off once more, well, look at it go. It's just it's going out into oblivion because this is not a stable tower. And yes, that is the power of the quantum struts. But that's not all we have to actually look forward to. If we actually go back to the space center, I'll leave anyways. Oh no, we blew up the launch pad. What a shame. Let's actually head over to another set of uh, ships that I have active over here, and we'll go to quantum strut number two. And to show off that the quantum struts, like I said, by default you can add them to action groups, or of course even activate them by right-clicking and activating or deactivating as they are. But if they are left active, as this one and this one are here, 
Right now, they can't actually attach to anything, but the moment that we do go to dock with this other ship, which does not have any quantum struts on it, the quantum struts, uh, struts will activate. As you can see, they have turned on, and now we have the magical quantum struts attached to both of these. And if we detach here, oh, there we go, undock, the quantum struts turn back off, and they are no longer adding that rigid effect. But if we actually do quickly go back here to dock, I'll just briefly also show off the difference between the two. Like I said, they both have the same model, but I did mention the beam is different. Now this one here is the strut gun, and it has basically a gray beam. Whereas this one over here, the standard quantum strut, has more of a blue beam. Now personally, I prefer the blue beam because it looks all sci-fi and futuristic, so I just use these. But hey, if you want it to blend in a little bit better and look kind of like a normal strut, just, you know, a little bit see-through, you might instead want to go for the strut gun. But, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for the Quantum Struts. They are a wonderful little tool that helps add a whole lot of extra structural support to your vessels, will go on standby when they are not connected to anything, and, well, are just all in all a fun Heart. So if you would like to check this one out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that is going to be it for today's episode, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!